Hi guys, Piotr here is Light Finance Global YouTube channel and as usual it's my pleasure to be with you. Well, uh, it's the second part when it comes to the Nasdaq uh, components. Uh, previously we were discussing, uh, for example, Apple, right? We were discuss, uh, we discussed um, Amazon and we discussed BABA and today we are going to start with eBay. That's the daily chart of the eBay and the bulls are trying to hold very significant uh, level, very important uh, level and we see here around 50 around 50 uh, dollars well double bottom suggests uh, the rally but the looks like we might have uh, some problems so let's place few lines here demand supply possible supply zone and well that's the first one right because of what we've seen uh, for example lately here here from here we went lower right and here before this uh, huge monster upside break here as well and there you go so that's the 60 61 uh, possible supply zone if we are going to uh, just make the measure based on the uh, upside break from that consolidation here we go right that was the consolidation with the double bottom upside break how high can we go from here well we almost hit the target so what i would look for is if you are a seller right if you are a seller you may want to see attempt to break higher one day right attempt to break higher with the close below the supply line and some kind of the upper shadow right that would be your possible setup to try to go short in that case at least taking into the consideration the consolidation we discussed mid of that zone around 53 and then bottom of that zone around 50 could be your target on the other hand if you are a buyer i would rather wait for the strong clean break to the upside right retest 63 level and then i would wait for a little bit of the pullback either down towards 60 80 60 level this zone over here or even retest of the level of 58 57 50 and i would target the level around 67 so in that case that's how the things uh, looks like when it comes to the ebay uh, ebay from uh, both bulls and bears perspective the next one i would like to discuss uh, the next one i would like to discuss is the giant google right and well here we have a problem around 2980 so around uh, 3000 right if we are going to place another one like this one so it's clearly 3000 where the uh, supply uh, trying to take over right so what we might see first is the level around 2480 and then eventually this consolidation mid of that zone is around 2070 so what would be the trading plan well i would wait based on what we currently see for a little bit higher levels up to either 2890 or even 2978 80 and I would look for the selling opportunity after the uh, retest of this level. Of course, we want to see some kind of the rejection. If you are a buyer, then you may want to put this latest consolidation, right? You can try to find midline of that consolidation, right? So it's somewhere around 2,620, as you can see. And then, of course, if we are going to see some kind of the spike down, 2,500, all right, that's where you are looking for the possible 
by opportunity with the retest of the 3000 level. Now, from a little bit bigger picture, right? If you are a buyer or seller, it's all about the next move. If we are talking about the, oh, sorry. If we are talking about this bigger consolidation, because that's how we can call it, right? Here, that's the bigger consolidation. So in that case, if you are going to see upside break, looks like 3,450 could be the target. In case of the downside break, it's what we already discussed. In that case, mid of that consolidation is the possible target around 2020, 2000 level. So that's the Google when it comes to the short term, medium term uh, perspective. All right, so let's clean the chart and let's move on. The next one is going to be another giant, Netflix. Well, the things are not that bright when it comes to the, uh, to the uh, streamer. Uh, strong move to the downside after we hit uh, almost 700. Uh, we are right now around uh, 370. And as I mentioned, the things uh, don't look good. What we are trying to hold here, all right, what we are trying to hold when it comes to Netflix is the level of 354, 350. So if you are a strong believer, uh, that's also the meat of the very old consolidation we've seen here, as you can see, right? So meat of that. So if you are a strong believer in the Netflix, that's where you wanna look for some kind of the bullish uh, activity with the possible target around 485, uh, 500, uh, so this type of uh, the zone, all right? But if you are a seller, of course, you don't wanna chase the prices right here, right now. I'm not saying that we are going to see the bounce, but at least retest of the 480, 500, that's where I would look for some kind of the supply zone. Uh, it's also, related to that big consolidation and midline as you can see. So, well, from the seller's perspective, be patient, wait for the bounce, wait for this possible bullish price action. And that's where you may want to look for some kind of the uh, bearish activity when it comes to Netflix. And finally, the last one I would like to discuss uh, in the second part is NVIDIA, all right? There you go. All these charts are very, very uh, similar. So uh, huge problems uh, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the buyers. Uh, here, the same story, okay? And the demand. So what is going on when it comes to the NVIDIA? All right. We are in the middle of the, some kind of the consolidation zone, all right? So I would call it no man's land. So if you are a seller, so you wanna see the attempt with the failure, with attempt to break higher and then rejection, retest of this uh, 322 and move lower down to hunt the stops maybe even below 200. Opposite to that, if you are a buyer, then either you are waiting for the strong upside break, retest of the meat and higher we go, but I don't think it's going to happen uh, that quickly. So you patiently waiting for stop hunt first below 200, then some kind of the lower shadow on the daily or weekly candle like this, right and then you are trying to join uh, the bullish price uh, action that's um, well how i'm going to 
uh, watch um, Nvidia price action from both perspective, buyers and sellers. With that being said, guys, wish you great next trading session. It was my pleasure to be with you. Do your own homework, do your own research, stay safe. Great next trading session. Take care and goodbye.